Let's answer a couple of questions about valence electrons. The first question is, what are they? Valence electrons are the electrons that are found on the outermost energy level of any atom. That outermost energy level is called the valence shell. Electrons that are found on the valence shell are called valence electrons. So in this case here you have two valence electrons. The question is why are valence ele electrons so important? Electrons are important because when atoms are involved in bonding, it's the valence electrons that are involved and it's the valence electrons that determine what can be bonded with what. The final question is how do I know how many valence electrons an atom has? And the answer is uh, that it just depends on its location on the periodic table. So if we look at a periodic table, everything in column 1 or group 1 is going to have one valence electron. Everything in group 2 is going to have two. We're skipping the transition metals. And then we continue on. Group 3 has three, group 4 has four, group 5 has five, so on and so forth. So the group number is going to equal Lewis dot structures. Lewis dot structures are just illustrations that tell us the arrangement of the valence electrons for an atom. And there are three steps to writing and drawing a correct Lewis structure. The first step is to find out what group the element is in. This is going to give you the number of valence electrons, like we just said. So if we look at a periodic table and pick out an element, let's pick out nitrogen here. Nitrogen is in the fifth column, so it's going to have. is to write the element symbol straight from the periodic table. So in this case, it's just an N. Final step is to fill in the valence electrons one at a time, place one on each side before doubling them up. So we're gonna start here on the right and work clockwise. So there's one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna double up on the right with five. So here we have two paired electrons on the right and three unpaired electrons on the top left and bottom. Unpaired electrons are the ones that are involved in bonding and reacting with other elements. You cannot pair electrons before going all the way around first. So in this case you have two, paired, two sets of paired electrons and that's not going to work. You can also not put more than two electrons on any one side. So in this case you have three valence electrons on one side, that's not going to work either. So you can pause the video here and create the Lewis structures for these elements. Here are your answers. I set rule. The octet rule by obtaining eight electrons in their valence shell. exception to the rule. Helium is the only exception to any of these rules. Because helium is in the first row, it only has one energy level. The first energy level can only hold two electrons, so its Lewis structure looks like this. Helium symbol with two valence electrons on the same side. Created using Powtoon.